What's up guys, FM Campbell here, welcome to episode number 29 of the Aston Villa series. This is basically laid out in, in a system where I'll go through all the updates that have happened since the end of the last episode, so it'll be literally a monthly thing, so things that may, it won't be like pe like set up in like a system where I'll go through all this, go through all of that, go through all that, it'll literally, it'll be dotted out and spread out over the next couple of updates that I write down as I go through the month, but we'll start off with what's happened since we last left you, we last left you, where are we? We last left you um, before, after the Sunderland game, before the Newcastle game. And we've had sort of a topsy-turvy bit of form. Not great in the Premier League, if I'm completely honest. In fact, we didn't actually win at all in the league, which has really hurt us a little bit. Um, Newcastle, we drew 1-1. Uh, Snodgrass scored in the 28th minute after Delefeo scored in the 16th. We then lost 2-1 at Old Trafford to Man United. Two goals from Falcao after, and also a Lacazette penalty was our only consolation goal. To lose, though, we played in the first knockout stages in the first leg um, of the Europa League. We beat them 2-1 away, which is good to two away goals. Memphis Depay and Mauro Icardi in the 73rd and 76th minute after a 70th minute goal from Alexander Pesic in to make it 2-1 overall. Man City, we drew 1-1 in the FA Cup fifth round, which meant a replay, which we'll come on to in a second. Um, Lucas Romero scored a penalty in the 65th minute, sorry, and then Sergio Aguero got a late, late equaliser in the 85th minute to make it 1-1 and take it to a replay at Villa Park. We then had the return leg in against Toulouse in the Europa League knockout state, first knockout stages. Uh, we beat them 3-1, so it was 5-2 on aggregate. Mauro Riccardi were two, Lucas Romero were one. Uh, Victor Rabarbo scored their goal, and Emir Sparhic was sent off in the 50th minute. And all our goals come after, well, other than the, f the 13th minute strike from Riccardi, come in the 50th minute, uh, after the 50th minute. So we then had Man City again, which he played them three times in four games. We lost 2-0 this time at home at Villa Park in the Premier League. Vincent Kompany and Sergio Aguero once again scoring both the goals. We didn't score at all, which is not great to see. But we then managed to get revenge on them with a cheeky 1-0 win in the fifth round replay of the FA Cup. Um, Stephen Colcott with the only goal in the fifth minute. So we went pretty much the whole game without a single goal at all. Um, Everton then we played in the Premier League and we drew again. Um, Doria scored in the 47th minute, two minutes into the second half. And then Ross Barkley got an equaliser in the 66th minute. And we, to be honest with you, in the Premier League especially, really not playing too well at all. Um, in the next stage, we have Victoria Pilsen in the Europa League um, knockout stages next round. The teams left in it, Hamburg against Juventus, Roma against Manchester United, um, Borussia Mönchengladbach against Metalist Kharkiv, um, Victoria Pilsen against ourselves, Galatasaray against Stad René. Um, Olympiacos, Fiorentina, Zenit, Benfica, and then Barcelona against Besiktas. So there are now some big teams left in this competition. Um, Juventus, Roma, United, um, Fiorentina, reasonably big, Zenit, Benfica, Barca as well. So it's going to be very, very tough. I would like to reach at least a semi-final, but it all depends on the type of draw that we get. I do think we can beat a lot of the, te a lot of the teams that are left in it, but I think we'd struggle against United, Juventus, Roma, and Barca. The others, I think, would have a good chance. So... We'll have to see how we get on. Fingers crossed we can reach at least a semi-final. I think it'll be good for us um, regarding our um, our status in, in the world, in, in the world of football. Um, and yeah, it could help us attract some real good players as well. West Brom is our next game. We've got our rivals in the FA Cup sixth round. Um, so yeah, that's going to be very, very tough. I don't know if there's there been a draw. Oh, wrong button. There hasn't been a draw yet for the Europa League. I don't think... Has there been a draw? Quarterfinal? No, hasn't been drawn yet. Third, 17th for the third, so 17th for this month. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that's happened. This is where it leaves us in the Premier League. We are currently sat third place, five points behind Chelsea. We do have a game in hand on Arsenal, though, um, in second place. If we win that, we can go above them on goal difference. Um, Liverpool are five points behind us with a game in hand. United, we have a game in hand on, who are level on points with us, but we have a really good goal difference at the moment. I'm just hoping that we can turn around our Premier League form. I'd also like Lukaku to try and push for top goal scorer um, in the Premier League. Is that a Brown, Izzy Brown from Chelsea at, at Hull at the moment, 13 goals, that's good to see. Oliver and Jonathan Silva still in the top four for average rating. Um, we're doing well on injuries as well, which is also good. So I'll go through my list as to what's been going on and update you guys. So, Scuffet was moaning about a new deal at the beginning of the month. Um, literally, like, 
just I'd say three or four times then the agent wanted to speak to us then he wanted to speak to us and all this stuff um, the squad has been registered for the Europa we've agree agreed a deal for Andrija Zivkovic four million pound release clause absolute bargain um, we'll do not not history we want transfers in where are you um, these are all the guys that are potentially joining in this season Andrija Zivkovic here he is four million pound 20 years old absolute bargain I think this guy's going to be a star our reports say that he's a really really good player he's got lots of pros fairly consistent performer yeah work permit will be accepted good sign for most Premier Division sides extremely interested in joining the club only cost four million pounds six to ten grand a week in wages really good guy I'm happy with that one um, the plan the plan basically because we have such a big set of under 21s I want to have a really big turnaround I want to sell a lot of these players at the end of the season. I'd like to try and start cashing in on the players that we've been signing for cheap deals or on frees. There are quite a few players that I'd like to approach on a free transfer or on a Bosman to, for the end of this season. Um, some are joining already, some aren't. You'll be able to see them in previous episodes or in episodes in the future where we'll cover them in more detail. But yeah, so there's going to be a big turnaround in under 21s. A lot of players I want to sell, a lot of players I want to bring in. And we've just got to start cashing in on some of these cheap buys that we've, we've been making. Um, yeah, we finally lose against United. It's actually, I think, our first loss in God knows how long against United. Um, we always tend to do well against them. We beat them 2-0 in the beginning of the season. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else have we got here? Lukaku was out for two weeks after the United game. So after this game, he was out for two weeks. He's now, I think he's, he is back fit now, I think. No, still not fit. He's back in 10 days to 2 weeks. Is that a new injury? I can't even remember. Can't remember. Um, Will Hughes is out for 3 weeks. Or was out for 3 weeks. He's now back. Lacazette was out for 2 weeks. Both after the Europa League first leg. Um, where is he? So yeah, we got Lukaku injured. And yeah, that's it so far. So they're both back now. Um... Yeah, that's another thing I was going to point out as well. We've had some really, really tough games over the last couple of weeks, um, and they've been very, very reason well, reasonably close together. We've got the 1st and the 4th and the 9th, 12th, 16th, 19th, 22nd and the 25th, and next we have one on the 2nd. So we finally have a bit of a break to the Victoria Pilsen game, which will be nice for us. Um, that's coming up, well, has been nice for us. But then again, we've got two games relatively quick. Um, then the 9th, 12th, 15th, 18th, 21st, and so yeah, after until the Liverpool game again, we're gonna have a really chocker um, schedule. So it's gonna be tough on the legs. We'll have to see how we get on. But hopefully we can hit some form. That'll be the key. Um, oh yeah, so I've got a note here. Everton is out for three weeks after the Everton game. So is out. He's obviously been out a week. Uh, so three weeks. So yeah, that 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 makes sense now. Um, there's quite a few players moaning about first team football, which I don't really understand because I'm rotating quite a lot. Flanagan's one of them. Um, who else? Garbert has been one. Um, and I think that's it. I, th I want to say that's it. Uh, Luca Lucas Cano was moaning, but he's now happy. Um, but yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, so it's basically a topsy turvy month. And not a single Premier League win. We're obviously, through in the Europa League, which is good. We're through in the FA Cup, which is good. So it's kind of been a good and a bad month. Cup competition wise, it's good. Premier League wise, not great at all. We've obviously fallen away by five points um, in the Premier League. So that's not good news. But Balanta made Team of the Month another bit of good news and that's pretty much all that has happened to be honest with you um, moving forward the next update will be again at the end of the month so it'll be after well be before the Reading game so we've got a big stretch of games we're playing the likes of Chelsea which will be huge um, we've got West Brom in the FA Cup Victoria Pills in, in the Europa League Southampton and Liverpool as well so lots of big games to tell you about in the next episode so stay tuned for that but other than that, that's pretty much all the updates. There's a quite, a, um, hopefully, a long, longer episodes coming up soon. If we can reach some cup final competitions, I will do them live. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. We've got to reach them first. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember to leave a like if you have. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Um, get your feedback in. I want to know if you guys are still enjoying this Aston Villa series. Um, there's still quite a lot of people viewing it every single day. It's crazy to think that we've gone from uploading probably every three or four to five days to literally uploading five, six days a week. Um, obviously with the York City series, the Building the Force series, which is uh, starting to kick off now, coming towards the end of the season in that one. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
um, in the next episode on Wednesday, which will be episode number 30. Peace.